Oi mate, it's Monday, and it's now May, the 2nd of May. Sometimes May Day, or the holiday for May Day, we don't get that in New South Wales, but mm. what's uh, on the agenda for today? Right, so, when April was starting, I was concerned that a quarter of the year was uh, almost over. Well, um, or had, I don't know, now it's a third of the year. Yeah, that's, that's the other big one. You don't have to worry too much when May is over, you go, oh, five twelfths, no one thinks about five twelfths. But then June is half the year. That's when people start worrying about Christmas. Actually, no, it's usually a little bit later. Please don't worry about Christmas in June. You'll go mad. You've got many days to worry about that. Um, but main point is, there's some interesting movies out there. I really want to see The Northman and The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, the movie where Nicolas Cage plays Nick Cage. And The Northman's the... Uh, you know, Norse violence stuff. L looks good. Looks really good. If no one's going to come see me, see them, see... There. I might go see them myself if I can't convince anyone short term. Uh, anyway, the other things were... Oh yeah, I did actually indeed acquire a PS5. I have proof that it's possible. Now you may not take this as enough proof. Because this is just a blue controller, but, um, yeah. It, it's nice. I, I bought it at retail price. It's possible. I understand it's really difficult. Okay, I thought it was impossible until I, I saw a link uh, come through on my Facebook feed from EB Games that they, you know, had some consoles. And I was so used to seeing these posts every month or two and finding that they were edited within two hours to say they'd run out. This time it had been about two hours, and they hadn't yet run out. I don't know, I've probably got one of the last few. Yeah, you can buy them a few hours a month. It's a ridiculous situation, but there you go. And the real important, really interesting thing is, Rammstein put out a new album this week, and I just found out. I, I found out, like, five hours ago, but... Mm, and I haven't got around to listening to it yet. That's what I'll probably do while this is rendering, but... Fancy that! In fact, I forgot to even look up and remind myself what it was called, but Rammstein's got a new album. After waiting for the entire 2010s for the last one, they put out another one in just two years. Thanks to them, you know, not being able to tour or anything, they um, obviously got some more ideas while sitting around, you know, not being able to go play shows, but... Mm, Rammstein, that's good stuff. I didn't write much down now. Now, today is, um... Much else down. That's, that's all I wrote down. What am I saying? Alright. I haven't got those reviews done. No, no. I've made some more progress on them. But, uh, that's not there. And I... Th that's not done. Blech. Words in the head are going fast. I've got some, uh... got something I want to do for May the 4th. But it might take longer. Maybe, maybe it can be dragged out to the... May the 25th, which is when Star Wars was originally released, at least in the United States. When I asked, uh, let's try this again. Hey Google, when was Star Wars released? In Australia, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, came out on the 27th of October 1977. There you go, so I, I could postpone it till October if we're going with the Australian release date. These days, movies all come out around the same time around the world, but there was a time... You know, when it wasn't such a thing. That's globalization for you. You know, like... I'm used to games that had PAL releases, you know, not coming to the Australia and Europe region for months after the US or Japan, and that ended. But um, long before that, movies would take months to escape since they had to go on cans in ships and all that. Hmm. Of course, you already knew that. But yeah, Star Wars y whatnots. And speaking of Star Wars and movies, since I like movies, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness does come out soon, and it will have a trailer attached for Avatar The Way of Water, which is what Avatar 2 is going to be called. And how this gets on to the point of Star Wars is, in case you weren't aware, uh, every December from now to 2028, 
they're going to be alternating Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5 with Star Wars anthology films. We've got that Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Was it called Rogue Squadron or something else? I think it was. I think it was Rogue Squadron was the title. It's coming out December 2023. Then Avatar 3 and then some other Star Wars film, possibly the Taika Waititi one, and then Avatar 4 and then some other Star Wars film. And the point is Avatar... Uh, no, Disney... Yeah, Disney, Avatar, and Star Wars are going to make a lot of money every December, but, you know, that's that's fine. They, they've they just announced that they've already won the box office, but, oh well, what can we do? Keep buying their content. Mmm, yummy content. Hmm, it's bizarre. Is there anything else? I've got so many snacks I could show you. Why don't I go get one? Hold on. Now, folks, this is Pepero. I like Papero. It's the same thing as Pocky, but this is the Korean one. I don't know which came first. Uh, now this Papero is crunchy. It's covered in things. It's described as crunchy, and here it's crunky. And on here it says Papero crunky, and <laughs> we've got crunky, crunchy, and then most amusingly down here is crunky again, and crunky in a more plain font. I hope I'm pointing that correctly at the camera. I have no viewfinder to look at. Pepero Crunky. It's crunchy, but the flavor is crunky. Uh, the point is, look, it, this stuff, this is good stuff. I mean, you know, health-wise, it's not good, and ingredient-wise, it's you know almost horrifically not food. Like there, there are way too many ingredients for this to be something that was traded from natural ingredients. But, wow, look at this. Mmm, it's a breadstick, it's got stuff on it, and it's very crunky, and crunchy, and um, what I mean about these ingredients, right, there's a lot of things here. The most curious is that it starts with semi-chocolate. Semi-chocolate 1 and semi-chocolate 2, and the two semi-chocolates have an ingredient list. I don't even know what a semi-chocolate is. The semi-chocolate one is sugar, processed oil, sunflower oil, palm oil, mm. antioxidants, cocoa preparation, whole milk powder, 3% cocoa mass, then lactose, cocoa butter, almond powder, emulsifier, 460, artificial vanilla flavor, wheat flour, then semi-chocolate two comes in with sugar, cocoa preparation, yada yada yada, processed oils, different kinds of oils, lactose, cocoa butter, almond powder, vanilla flavor, peanut powder, grain products, Sugar, palm shortening, processed condensed milk, it, it, it's oil, almond stuff, palm oil, it, it's a lot of stuff going on here. Ammonium bicarbonate, hmm. High fructose corn syrup, man, what can you do? Generally in Australia we can avoid high fructose corn syrup, it's in hardly any food, but all the imported stuff, hmm. So what I thought the crunch was nuts or something, they aren't actually chunks of nuts. It's just the two different semi-chocolates, or so it says. I don't see peanuts on here. But look, let's stop worrying about what Pepero Crunky is besides tasty, because it's just tasty. Yeah. It's, it's good, good yummy stuff. Wow, nine minutes. Okay, that's enough. Um, I haven't even looked up the weather yet. Hopefully I can still get today's weather for um, Darwin and... Yeah, alright. I'll go go do that. Mmm. In Darwin. Mmm. Right, I'm going to finish eating this. Up in Darwin, the weather sounds lovely. It's a top of 33 there, or it was today, with one tiny, very small cloud, minimum of 24. Oh, I'm not liking how it's getting cold down in Sydney, but anyway. Uh, on Tuesday, Darwin's expecting a top of 34 and no clouds at all. Wednesday, top of 34, some clouds. Thursday, 34 and some clouds. Friday, 34, some clouds. Saturday, 34, some clouds. That's a weird looking cloud. Sunday, 34, no clouds, just sun. Maybe even with some rays coming off it. 
Well, definitely, that's that's how suns are. They're always expelling plasma. And... Anyway, uh, meanwhile, in Petra Pavlovsk, Kamchatsky, I looked up the weather after Monday had ended uh, over there, so I, um, I missed out on seeing what Monday's weather was. Tuesday, expect a top of 6 degrees and a minimum of minus 1 with some clouds. Wednesday, just a huge cloud and a massive 4 degrees. Uh, low of minus two. Thursday, sun with some clouds, six to minus one. Friday, sun with, um, what's going on with that cloud? I don't know, ten to minus one. Wow, ten! Um, which means on Friday and Saturday, yeah, it'll be warmer in the max than it is the minimum in Sydney. But anyway, not here to talk about Sydney's weather. Um, yeah, it was like, yes, Saturday we've got a top of 11 and a low of 2 with some clouds, you know, partly cloudy or whatever. And on Sunday, a top of 9, and that upper cloud is one of my favourite clouds I've ever drawn. Like, I think I got that cloud just right. But uh, anyway, yeah, and a low of 2. And uh, that concludes the weather for the week. That concludes Oi Made It's Monday for the week. It's really late at night. This episode's going to be uploaded quite very late. That's all right. Anyway, Snake of Bacon signing out. Good night. I'll see you next week, possibly before then. I have to finish the Star Wars thing. I have to do the reviews. I have to do lots of stuff. I have to brush my teeth. I've got crunky stuck in them and they hurt. And I think the the semi-chocolate and what gives it that crunch or crunk is that it's part chocolate and part almond flour making it into a crunchy chocolate. It's a, it's a clever concept. It's interesting. So it's an almondy chocolate, semi-chocolate, semi-almond. No peanuts in it, just lumps of chocolate that's been almond, milky, maltified. Mmm. I just ate that whole packet. Like, well, the whole, like, one packet. I didn't eat the whole multi-pack of five packs. Not crazy. Anyway, uh, Snake of Bacon properly signing out. Good night, and I'll see you later.